Well, y'all, that gentleman right there is loading up this order for me. And welcome to Florida. Just came out of nowhere. Look at this, y'all. Jeez. But they're gonna load this up and deliver it for me, so we'll be back to the house shortly. Just ran back to my car. I am soaked. Look at this, inside of the car got all wet. It's Florida, y'all. If, they, if that's a better indication of how it's coming down. And I'm telling y'all, it's like Seattle. It'll do this for about 15 minutes, stop for about an hour or two, do it again for 10 minutes. But you know what? Like I just said, based on all the places I just heard speaking about how they really need rain, this is a blessing and we'll take it. Look at the water coming down from the roof right there. So that's a better indication of how it's pouring down. But once again, they have my delivery loaded up. So let's go ahead and get to the house, y'all. Woo! All right, we're here, y'all. About to unload it, and then we're gonna get to it. The good news is I made it home with the delivery. The bad news is I'm in the shop with Achilles because the rain is just crazy right now. Can you hear it? I feel like I'm yelling just to make sure you can hear me. But listen, it's just one of those days and it's really windy y'all, check this out. So the wind just slammed the door shut. I was setting up everything. Here's all the materials I need over there, over there. Look at the flag. The good news is I should be able to still work just under this cover which is a benefit if it gets really bad obviously i could just go back inside the shop and build what i'm trying to build from inside the shop huh. the things we do for our animals once again this is florida y'all you 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 get used to it so you work through it it's really that simple like i could see one of my neighbors down there he's still out there you you just got to get stuff done so Let's go back inside. <laughs> but here's the plan for today. As we told you in our previous video, we are gonna be working on the living arrangement and um, feed arrangement for Thor so that we could get him out there with his goats. Now the plan that Natalie and I have is being executed almost, I would say flawlessly, which is we wanted him to spend time with us inside our home, and he's done that for three days inside the house and two days in Achilles' room, which is attached to the house. Now, in Achilles' room, he's close enough that we can interact with him, but he's not underneath us. He has food, water, a large bed, and I'm mad Achilles because Achilles can't get into his room. <laughs> the thought process there is that He's still forming a bond with us, right? Because we want him to be bonded to us. We're his family. And then when we move him out to his goats, he's of course going to create a bond with them as well. So he'll know who all of his loved ones are, those that he's charged with protecting. We're at the part of our plan where we got to get him out there to the goats so he doesn't think he's a house dog. <laughs> So this structure that I'm about to build is inspired by Greg Judy. Greg Judy is a, a farmer with more wisdom than I can ever imagine. Kind of like Joel Salatin, who just has so many amazing best practices. And I've known about this feeder and living situation that he does for his LGDs for years, at least six years, y'all. I'm a big researcher. I don't jump into anything without knowing what I wanna do. So this build is inspired by Greg Judy. It's gonna be a living quarter, a feeding quarter, give him some shade. I think, I think Thor is gonna like it. And shout out to all the new subscribers once again, Natalie, myself, the girls, we all love and appreciate y'all so much. It's been a little overwhelming, we can't lie. And some of you have taken time to go back and look at our 
um, older videos. And if you've done that, you've probably realized that we like to go a little overboard when it comes to the living arrangement for our animals. Um, because being raised by a military dad, doing the military myself, the army, just do it right the first time. That's my motto. Do it right the first time so you don't have to touch it a second time, third time, fourth time. Build it right the first time. Don't cut corners. So we overbuild and we love to make sure our animals have great living arrangements. And I think this build would be no different because it's inspired by Greg Judy, but I've made some modifications. So that's enough talking, y'all. Hopefully the rain stops. Once it stops, we're gonna get to it. All right, y'all, so I'm not sure if the rain is gonna stop. And I gotta get to work, man. I love a good project, I love a good DIY. I don't have time to wait for the rain, so we are blessed to have this shop. Um, really large shop. So I might as well utilize this space. So everything I set up outside, I'm about to bring back in and we're gonna get to it, y'all. Can't wait for y'all to see this final build. All right, y'all, so here's what we have. We have an eight foot by about four and a half foot um, structure. It's a rectangle. And what's gonna happen is there's gonna be a pallet on this side, two pallets down the back, a pallet on that side, two pallets on the top to create a roof, and it's gonna be the house. Most importantly, there's gonna be a 45 degree cut on the front of the eight foot post on each side. So most importantly, that 45 degree cut on both of those four by four by eights is gonna allow me to pull Thor's house from pasture to pasture as we rotate the goats. And I could pull it with a tractor, a lawnmower, a four wheeler, a side by side, or with my own strength, right? That's no different than our goat structure, our, so our goat house, our goat feeder, and our cow feeder. They're all sitting on skids, so they are movable. Saves you a lot of money because you could just build one instead of one for each of your pastures. So, just wanted to give you all a synopsis or overview of what we're trying to accomplish today. And y'all know the deal, most likely gonna set y'all on a, a time lapse to the different sections so y'all could come along for the ride as we build this home for Thor. You can see the 45 degree cut there. Hopefully that better paints the picture of how when the chain is connected on this side and on the other side over there, how when something's pulling it, this stops it from getting caught in the mud, grass, gravel, whatever you're pulling on. I also reoriented it so when it's done being built and I open up this door, I could just pull it out. So let's get to it. For real this time, I'm gonna put y'all on a time lapse because this isn't a how-to channel. If you wanna know how to build it, I can send you my inspiration, once again, Greg Judy, or just email me and I'll break it down for you. I'm okay with that. This isn't a how-to video. This is a you can video. You can do this. Save money. Let's get to it. i 
Alright, check it out, y'all. I was experimenting a little bit, but you see the side wall, back wall. I'm about to put up the side wall. And then after that's done, I'm gonna do corner braces. But on the from there to there and there to that wall. And it'll be real nice and sturdy. I've secured it even more on the top. I mean look, that's sitting up there, it's not falling. Wiggling, but it's not falling. But once I get that brace there, it's gonna be good. So back to the time lapse. I just want to show y'all where we are. This is Thor's house. You can see it has three walls, a lot of bracing. The roof has a slight slant to it. I do want to come back and add a metal roof. That's going to allow rain to fall off the back and provide even more shade if he wants that. The front's going to remain open, but I am going to put a cattle panel, which you're about to see. For now, that's gonna ensure that he stays inside because we don't want him getting out. But once he's old enough, on that cattle pedal, I'm gonna build a door that only he'll be able to get through and not the goats. We don't want the goats being able to get into his shelter because of this pet lodge. Just like y'all saw me give Esther and just like the one that Zeus has in his house, it has dog food in it and the goats can't eat the dog food, they'll bloat, they'll die, so. The door that I'm gonna put on this, once he's old enough to come and go and get food, he's also gonna have water in here. The goats won't be able to get in. So you just saw me install this bar back here. See this bar? That's because on the back of this feeder, there's a place where you can hang it, just like a photo on your wall. So this is gonna sit up because it's galvanized, right? And we're in Florida, y'all know that salt water. We don't want it to rust through. So I'm gonna hang it just like that on this wall. And he'll be able to come in here and get the food and it's staying off the ground. It'll stay nice and dry. So I'm feeling good about this build. It's going real well, y'all. Now let's finish. So it's hung, y'all. Shouldn't go nowhere. Has a nice angle. He'll be able to get to his food. So like I said, nice and dry. So, whew, I think that looks good. And I think on the other end, probably towards this corner over here, or just somewhere towards the back is where I'll put him a water source. So I think it looks good, y'all. Let me know in the comments below how you feel this build is coming along so far. Can't wait to uh, put him in here, see how it goes.
All right, y'all, so we've decided to repurpose again. Um, we're gonna use the tarp that we had. This was what, on Leroy's at first? And it didn't yeah, work? Yeah, Leroy and Esther's pin. Yep, so we have it, we're gonna even it out along the top. And we have a draping on the back. And the good news is, um, Great Pyrenees love water. So even if there's a little water, you'll be fine. Um, we're gonna face it away from the north so then that way the wind and water isn't blowing directly into it. It'll just be coming over the back of it. But yeah. This thing is pretty sturdy, y'all. Like it's not going anywhere. Yeah, it's heavy. <laughs> Once again, I drew inspiration from a build by Greg Judy. And his build essentially is only the bottom skid part I built with a cattle panel going around four sides. So I think it's safe to say that this one has a little bit more uh, security to it. Feels more like a home. And like I said at the beginning of the video, y'all know we like to be a little extra sometimes and just provide the best home possible for the animals. So um, we're gonna go ahead and secure this tarp. And like Nat said, we're just experimenting with this, y'all. So if it works as intended, I'm gonna be extremely happy because it's money saved. If it doesn't work as intended, as intended, then I'm gonna go get some of the metal roof and I'm gonna put metal roof over the top and then I'll also um, get like a uh, uh, sheet of like plywood or something to put on the back and maybe even the sides. But the name of the game right now is to keep the cost down. Keep the cost down. So let's go ahead and secure the top of this. Then we have a surprise for you over in Frankie's pasture. Then we'll come finish this build and we'll get him out there. Let's get to it, y'all. surprise something that many of you um, especially if you've been um, on this journey with us for the past month or so have been waiting for this day so let me go grab Egypt so we can knock it out well 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 look who we have here y'all Hi. <laughs> Egypt Rose just came outside you see Frankie right next to her but Frankie we're not in here for you yet girl we are in here for, who are we in here for, Egypt? The goslings. Mm-hmm. And this has been a surprise. We've been talking about this for about a month. Oh, <laughs> y'all, she loves Egypt. When she lays down like that, what does she want, Egypt? Pets. She wants you to love on her. <laughs> y'all, this is a female emu. And once again, her name is Frankie. On some social media accounts, the females come off as mean. Um, so there's a rumor out there that they are, but ours is sweet. She's a sweetheart. Right, Egypt? What do you think? Is Frankie nice? Really nice. All right, y'all. It's time for the surprise. So I'm going to slowly rotate this way. And Egypt, what's the surprise? We're going to let the goslings down. The goslings snap, crackle, and pop. <laughs> so someone said the all-white one, they see their mama, so they're getting loud. Someone said the all white one right here should be Snap. And then the gray ones, who look so similar now. They look so similar, y'all. So <laughs> we may have to wait for them to feather out just a little bit more before we can figure out which one's crackle and which one is pop. But we know the all white one is Snap. So this is what we're going to do, y'all. So do you think it's safe to let him out? Yeah. Well, there's only one way to find out, right? I know. Yeah, they're eating their last piece of grass, but look at all of this, y'all. All of this. So let's go ahead and let them out, and then we'll set up their uh, water and pool, and they're going to love this. So there you go, mama. Let them out. 
look how much they ate that down. That's where they were before. You see it's uh, starting to slowly grow back. And look at all our family over there. I told y'all we have a lot of family in town. There's Natalie, and she's taking them off to, looks like to see uh, Esther and Leroy, maybe the girls back there. But here they go. There you go, mama. They're free. Now we just got to see what happens with uh, with Frankie. Was Frankie being nice to them because there was a barrier? Or did Frankie really get used to him and she's going to accept him? Let's find out. All right, y'all. They were trying to go back in there. So we closed the door and Frankie just realized they're out. So her neck feathers have gotten large. She's a little alert. She's looking at them, but she's not chasing them. She's not trying to stomp them. It looks like she's kind of looking at them like... Y'all are a little bit closer now. <laughs> I think it worked, y'all. All right, y'all, so Egypt is bringing me that water hose, and we're gonna go ahead and fill both of these pools for the goslings and for Frankie, and we're gonna fill their water as well. And what I'm thinking is over here inside Frankie's house, she's gonna have some neighbors. So for the goslings, I'm thinking in Frankie's house, and y'all can see she lays down in here. We didn't weed, in, weed eat in here, we didn't spray. It's dead, you could tell it's been laid on. Hey, she loves her house. But I'm gonna put their feed over there in that corner and they're gonna have clean water. They're gonna have water right there, water right there. They're gonna have water over here. Look, there's water right here that runs off the roof and when it rains, it's filled. And they'll also have that water right there, so. Let's get to it, Egypt. All right, y'all, here's the goslings over here. And we're about to fill this pool. <laughs> I think they got scared. Look at Frankie. y'all i think they're about to find the pool for the first time there we go so luminous and vibrant i'm always in y'all right, y'all just saw that one of the geese just jumped in that's the one that keeps jumping in the other two are going to figure it out <laughs> that's so funny but now we're about to come fill their feed so i'm going to put it right here inside of uh frankie's house once again this is the inside of frankie's house if you haven't seen it before she has feed in here we put her feed in here when it's raining which it has been as y'all know and a vast majority of their diet, y'all, is grass. So they're not dependent on this at all, but they will come over here and eat this. And I'm kind of glad that they're in here now because Frankie, as she wastes all this food, that she will come back and eat. Now the geese are in here, and I feel like they'll help her clean this up so we'll have even less waste. So there's, there's their feed inside of Frankie's house to stay nice and dry. And Egypt and I filled up this water. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take this inside. So as you can see, they have water. It's full, it's clean, fresh food, even more food. And it's all going well, y'all. So, this was the surprise. They're out and Frankie's doing well. She's doing really good. So the reason I wanted to let them out today 
is because I need one of these cattle panels right over here to finish Thor's house. And instead of buying a new cattle panel, because they're like $37 a piece, I could recycle one by using this. So I'm gonna take one of these cattle panels. We're gonna go back over to Thor's house, finish that build so we could introduce him to his girls. And stay tuned y'all, this chicken coop, which is black and white to match everything else on the property, is gonna be reused in the very near future. We're gonna take it out of this pasture, put it somewhere else. So stay tuned, that's gonna be a future video. All right y'all, so attaching the eye bolt, and this eye bolt, this is what the chain or rope or however we want to pull it is going to attach to in order to uh, pull it around the property. So you can see the lag bolt that's keeping it nice and secure, corner braces. Y'all, I could live in this thing. I think I'm going to go camping tonight. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but seriously, I love when a good build comes together. I was inspired. I showed it to Natalie. One night in bed, we watched like the uh, videos from Greg Judy. He has like four or five of them. Yeah. And uh, just came out here and built it. And once again, mine is built in a way that fits our needs and our property. And like he says in, his, in the videos himself, do that. Do what you need for your property and your dog. So, hey, don't beat that. And before I go secure the other side, I just want to show y'all this. This is how we're securing it. Yeah. Okay, so a rope right here, and then it's attached on this side. See that? And then we're going to do another one on the bottom. Yeah. Okay. So here's the cowl panel on the front, y'all. I just showed y'all how we latched it. Once we're ready for him to be able to come and go, I have two choices. I can raise this to create a space that only he could get into, or I can make a door, kind of like the shape of a diamond right here, that he can jump through and jump out, but goats won't. So we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, but if you're wondering how eventually he's gonna be able to get out and get in, that's how. Either through a door that I'm gonna create that goats won't jump in and jump out of, or I can raise it off the ground where he can get under, but the goats won't. That's how it works, y'all. It's really that simple of a design. All right, y'all, so I have these rope locks that I use all over the property, the porch swings, um, any of the shade cloths that are hanging like on Gotopia or Frankie's house. And on the pig feeder too. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. So I normally like to use either chain or a white rope, but I'm out of white rope. So I'm using this blue rope, but as soon as we drag it out there to the pasture, I'm taking it off. <laughs> this is just so I could drag it out there. And then I'm gonna go to the uh, store, um, not for this, or I guess I should say next time I'm at the hardware store, yeah. I'm going to either buy chain or um, some more of the, the white rope I like to use and then put it on there. I actually, I think I'm going to buy chain uh, with some D-rings um, so that I could just attach it when I need it instead of just leaving it out there. So whenever it's time to move, attach it, drag it, take it off. Yeah, and we can use it for other projects. So Yeah. So... Let me go ahead and tighten this up, y'all, and then we'll get to the fun part, moving this bad boy to pasture. All right, I don't know if y'all can hear me, but... That's how you do it right there. We're perfect. All 
All right, y'all, so check it out. You just saw it in action. The skids work perfectly. The design was fairly flawless, y'all. I didn't see anything wiggling, did y'all? This is Uncle Conrad, by the way, y'all, one of the visitors. And this is... Your boy, Chef Ed Lee, Logan Alfred from Lafayette, Louisiana. Uh-huh. <laughs> if you in Lafayette... Hey, he has the food. What's the name of your truck? Southern Creole Cravings and Pastries. And this is my brother-in-law. So y'all met Jared, you know, the dancing weed eater. Yeah. <laughs> he be out here uh, dancing when he's helping me do yard work. But uh, yeah, y'all, so... I'm gonna hand that back over. So, y'all already know his feed is in there. This is his water bowl. So it works pretty easy. All I'm gonna do is this chain, take it off, pull that to me. Bam, just like that. And watch that. And now, this is gonna open. You see how that, how that went, y'all? It's really that easy. And now we could get in and out. So I'm gonna put his water back here. I'm gonna get this grass that I just cut, get all this extra grass out of here. It's really hay, <laughs> really. Mm -hmm. Give it to the goats. Man, that's a lot. Look at that, y'all. We could bail back here, really, uh, as tall as the grass is. So I'm gonna throw that out there because the goats will eat it up. So he'll have water over there in that corner. I'm going to put his food in there as well. And then there's going to be a chain on the top. I'm about to go get the chain for the bottom down there. That's going to attach right here. And we're going to get him in here, y'all, so he can meet his girls. So let's go grab his food. Let's go grab his water. And let's go grab him. All right, y'all, it's officially time. We have Egypt out here. We have my niece, Peyton. We have his food. We have some water. <laughs> Look at him, y'all. He's so cute. About to put him in his home. That's so funny. And he has an audience. He has Esther coming. He has all the goats at the fence. <laughs> Look at Esther. Esther about to take him to, about to take him to his house. What do you think about that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, did you see me taking it in there? Yeah, you did? Okay. Well, let me go put him in there, all right? I'll be right back. So we got Mama Goat, we got Carol, we got Butterscotch, we have Peaches, and we have Thor. Look at him. The grass is taller than him, y'all. Not for long, but right now it is. Look at that tail. He's happy. Before we put him in there, though, because it's going to be nighttime, I want to be able to easily find them out here in the pasture. So I bought this reflective. Um, it is Carhartt, but it's a reflective collar. I'm going to go ahead and put that on him. We're going to fill his food and then uh, fill his water. And yeah, look at a uh, spirit already making a toy out of his, making a playground out of his house. <laughs> hey. Oh yeah, look, can't come off. I could get two fingers under, right? So that's how you know it's not too tight. I could get more than two fingers under there, y'all. I could probably get three, but it can't get it off. So that's good. This one does hold 50 pounds. And this is not how I plan on filling it. I'm gonna put the whole bag in here. <laughs> but since he's just getting started, I'm not gonna put all of that. I'm not gonna fill it to the top. Once again, this is a gravity feeder. So as he eats, it's just gonna keep falling for him. Now, yeah, you wanna come in here, buddy? Not yet. I'm gonna use this brick right here to prop the door to the food open. He doesn't know how to use this feeder yet. So propping it open, I should only have to do it for about a week maybe two for him to realize that's where his food is and then once i take the brick away once he's been eating out of it for about a week or two he'll know that it's in there and just push in but for now i'm gonna put this brick in here to prop it open for him so just like that 
it's just going to stay propped no water or anything is going to get in there because of the direction it's facing and this is why we have the door on there look who's in here with me girl valentine can smell food from a mile away y'all i'm telling you all right that's a lot of water for him y'all i just filled this water up so and look at that he heard the water so great pyrenees love water y'all they love water so that's more than enough water for him to drink wouldn't be surprised if he actually gets into it yeah was that yummy look let me show you something else Look. All right, y'all. While he eats, I'm gonna go ahead and lock this door. So there's the top lock. bottom lock all right y'all so we have the top lock we have the bottom lock as you can see across the bottom of this cattle panel chicken wire and we have thor in his new house living his best life already y'all so <laughs> look at that how cute is that y'all so he has water and once he's full grown y'all Look how big that is. That's more than enough space for him. And not to mention, on our property, there's one right there. There's another one. There's another one. That's actually not one. On the other side of one, there's one. We have somewhere between 13 and 16 grandfather oaks. So we have more than enough natural shade. But if he ever just wants peace and privacy, he could come into his home, his shelter. If he ever wants shade, he could come into his home or shelter. But once again, he has natural shade and that's where his food and water is gonna be. So he's gonna learn that when I'm hungry, that's where I go to get my food and to get my water. Yeah, bud. So the goats are gonna get the opportunity to get close to him. Kind of like spirit kind of wants to get close. And they'll be able to do it from three sides and they'll have a week or two where he's inside of here once again to meet and mingle that way with the barrier and then whenever we come out each day to let him out that's when he'll get to run out here in the pasture with the goats so yeah and the cool thing about this being on skids as y'all saw me move it in obviously he's going to go number one and two we'll be able to just move it to give him fresh grass while he's uh, in there over the next week or so. So that is our build. As soon as we feel confident that this works, we still may come back, put the metal roof and you know, we still have to put an address on here. And, and of course, mama wants to come back and paint it. And most likely we'll paint it black and white. All right, y'all, we'll see y'all next time. Peace. Say peace, Egypt. Peace. Peyton. Peace. And Chef LA. <laughs> See y'all next time. Y'all, I thought this was so cute. So thought I would capture it. As you can see, he has calmed down. And just like we wanted, the goats are hanging out near him. They're curious. He's not barking at them. They're just getting to know each other, getting each other's sense. Good job, girls. And look at him. You see that reflective collar, y'all? Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Perfect. So I just wanted y'all to see that. That the girls are mingling with him. He was laying down. I feel like they were just having a conversation. Look, there he goes. Good boy, Thor. So proud of you, buddy. So proud of you. I can't wait to see you in the morning. Have a good night, y'all.